سبث جمراح وياها قلب شراح والانس تطر الهنا by which Allah guides those who pursue His pleasure to the ways of peace and brings them out from darkness into the light by His permission and guides them to a straight path. There has come to you from Allah a light and a clear book. Quran chapter 5 verse 15 to 16. As the days pass by, Alison realizes that Islam is the missing piece to her puzzle. She had always been so miserable because she had always believed that there was no substance to life. But since discovering Islam, she realizes that there's so much more to life. However, her acceptance of Islam comes with its own challenges. Good morning, everyone. Sit. I've made bacon. Really? I'm now a Muslim. I don't consume bacon. Then you can find your own food. I'll make myself toast. No, eat the bacon. Just eat it, Alison. Otherwise your mother is not going to stop speaking about it. Mom, Dad, I am now a Muslim. I cannot consume pork or alcohol. It is against my religion. Well, you've chosen the wrong religion. Don't make our lives difficult. Because you now have different dietary requirements. It's fine, I'll have toast. I don't see how that's going to make life difficult for anyone. I'll make it myself. You will eat the bacon. No, I will not. I'm going to make myself toast, just like how I would on any other day. If you don't renounce that extremist religion, I may be forced to cut you off. I'll remove you from my will. <sighs> Dad, I'm not going to renounce Islam. My heart is finally at peace. Do you want to know what made me become a Muslim? Morning. Good morning. I've made some bacon. Have a seat. <laughs> the terrorists can't eat this, Mom. That's her own problem. She chose to be an extremist. How am I being an extremist? Islam is an extreme religion. But don't you worry. I'm going to disprove everything you believe in. You'll be forced to see the truth. I doubt you'll be able to. I have the Quran. I'm going to disprove everything you believe. I'm going to show you that it's a religion that incites violence. Good. Read the Quran. And when you read it, in its full context, you will see that your beliefs are not correct. Watch me. By the way, how's your face? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. It still hurts. I'm surprised you haven't retaliated. My religion teaches me to forgive. So I've forgiven you. <laughs> yeah, right. She refuses to see reason. I'm going to have to cut her off my wall. No, I'm not refusing to see reason. I'm choosing a religion that you refuse to accept in this home. Because now you're following the terrorists. Mom, if Muslims really were terrorists, don't you think that we'd all be dead by now? Why? There's not that many of them. There's two billion Muslims in the world, Mom. That's like 28% of the entire population on Earth. That doesn't seem right. I can assure you that it is. What world are we living in? Are you sure about that number? Maybe it's two million or 20 million? Google it. It's the fastest growing religion on earth. While the Carters continue to argue, the Muhammads are discussing their newfound love for their religion.
If it wasn't for Alison, I doubt I would have wanted to become a better Muslim. Allah puts people in our lives for a reason, and I'm so glad that he put Alison in our lives. I was a huge fan of hers, and now she's my Muslim sister. I feel the same way. Her interest in Islam made us realize just how much we don't know. We'll never know everything. That's why we need to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. You're right. Why you all never call me? I've been up so long because your father is snoring so loud, man. Mommy, when's your flight? In two weeks. It's in the afternoon. Auntie Aisha will be here from the day before. She can help me a little also. Hey, man. I hope they don't give us problems. Make lots of dua before you go. They think they're powerful, but they forget that Allah is most powerful. Yeah, man, you're right. Alia may be the youngest, but she's the wisest. She's always giving us advice. Yeah, and I used to call her a nag. Sorry, Owls, you're actually a really good teacher. <laughs> it's only Allah that can make us appear better than we actually are. So when are we going to start classes with Appa Fatima? Maybe after mommy leaves. Just in case mommy needs us to help around the house. Good idea. I'm sure Alison will also want to start soon. Right, girls. I'm going upstairs. Let me get your father up. He must take me shopping. I need some stuffs before our trip. Okay, mum. Yeah, so Alison is actually having a lot of challenges at home. Make dua that life becomes more bearable for her. She messaged a few minutes ago and she said her mum made bacon purposely today. Yo. Shame, man. That's not very nice. Her father threatened to cut her out of his will. Her brother even punched her. What? Yeah, it's that bad. Just make dua for her. She forgave her brother. She did? Why? She's a Muslim and she wants to practice forgiving. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have to forgive him. She doesn't. But don't forget the story of Umar radiallahu anhu. I also told Alison the story. Umar radiallahu anhu was on his way to kill the Prophet and now he's buried next to him. He became one of the closest companions of our Nabi. It's a beautiful story about hope. And dua and what Allah wills. Yeah, you're right. Just goes to show Allah's mercy as well. Yes, but please remember Alison in your duas. May Allah make it easy for her. Have you seen some of the comments on her posts? People are calling her out for the things she did when she wasn't even a Muslim. Why does the internet have to be so cruel? Maybe we should warn her. <laughs> Hope is a beautiful thing. It is an expectation, an expectation we have in Allah, in His promise. And it is only because of His promise do we as humans continue to hope, even through broken hearts and shattered dreams. On the authority of Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Allah the Almighty said, O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth, and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as it. <laughs>